Shalom. Let's get right into it. Civil portion chapter 82. And this law is based upon the principles that they have been given by Yahweh, which are principles of the kingdom of Yah. These same principles were instituted into the first Kahal of Yah, which was established by Aram and his sons in the land of Aran. And these principles take from those who have an abundance and give to those who have less. And the commandment is given that if a person will live by this law, that he will give willingly of his abilities to all according to their needs. And this is the law of communal living, which if live in righteousness and in its fullness shall barak, bless a people with exceeding peace and happiness as long as they live this law in righteousness. And those who are rich are those who feel that they sacrifice the most by living this law, for they give up all that they have and receive only what they need, like unto the poor who do not have what they need and take much from that which is given by the rich. And now the rich who think that they are righteous have always complained of this inequality, inequality pertaining to this gr great law of Shamaya, which is not only a celestial law, but is lived in many of the kingdom of the Father. And now, how can ye that are rich think that this is inequality? Do you not realize that you will not be rich except for the poor who have given unto you your riches and have supported you in all that you have? And now, where do you suppose that the fine things of the earth that you enjoy come from? Yeah, how are they manufactured and produced? Do you think that a drop of your own sweat fell in acquiring the materials for all of the fine things that make you rich? I say unto you that you do not sweat at all, but the sweat coming from the brows of the poor with whom you shall be glad to share the abundance which you have. And now, those of you who are rich and who have a hard time giving up that which you have in order to live by the principles of the kingdom of Yah, behold, do not see that you are not ready for the kingdom of Yah and will not be ready until the riches which you have mean nothing to you. And if they mean nothing to you, then you will not have acquired them, and therefore you will not be rich. Alas, well did Yahya speak of you when he said, it is harder for a rich man to enter in the kingdom of Shamaya than for camels to go through the gate of the eye of the needle. Behold, all that are rich shall never be of the kingdom of Yah and follow his plan, but are the kingdom of Shatan, whose plan had made you rich.